We're joined by one of my fellow Canadians. He was Division II All-American at MIAA Defensive Player of the Year. He is the Jets' third round draft pick out of Fort Hayes State in Kansas. Please welcome to the breakfast table, New York Jets defensive tackle and friend of mine, Nathan Shepard. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, represent. You know what I'm saying? Two, like it. two Canadians, mm -hmm. two third round draft picks, two guys named Nate. Now, you have one of the most inter interesting journeys into the NFL, and we've heard just about all of them. You were playing at Simon Fraser University yep. in Canada, but they didn't give out scholarships, so you were paying your own way there. Um, then you eventually had to leave school yep. to work in a factory, among some other jobs, so you could afford to go play at Fort Hayes State. Now, at this period in your life, what was going on? What was going through your mind? And how do you think that shaped who you are right now? Uh, it was a time where there was a, definitely a lot of uncertainty. Uh, you think, you know, you're going to go to school. You get on a team. You're learning the system. You know, life should be great from there. But then, you know, things happen financially. And you kind of have to start from square one again. Mm. Um, I knew I loved the game. I knew I loved football. So at that point, it was just I didn't know where I was going to play. I just knew I had to play. Mm. So... It was just one of those things where you ask yourself, how much do you love mm. whatever you're doing, whatever your passion is? Are you going to be able to follow that, wake up every day, even though the path is, you know, uncertain? Mm. And it's hard. It's like a lot of adversity on that path. And I feel like things happen for a reason. And one of those things happened with one of the jobs that you were taking. Yep. A bouncer in a Vancouver club where yep. you, one unassuming night, ran into <laughs> uh, and encountered one Nate Burleson. How yep. did that go down and how did that impact you? Man, that was, uh, that was a real moment for me in, in just my life and just my journey here. So, Nate, uh, you were actually the first NFL player that I've ever met. And... Um, it was Pierre's Champagne Lounge. My boss, Peter, at the time, he turn was up. like, turn up, yeah, turn up, <laughs> you know. He's like, hey, man, I got some high rollers coming in. Hopefully they're going to spend some money. Make sure, you know, show them a good time. Make sure they get back to the hotel safe, everything like that. They get Exactly, right. Um, so I think you had, like, two other players with you at yeah. the time. So that was a great experience just to, you know, be able to hang out and chill with you. Um, so, did yeah. you two talk? We did talk. Yeah, yeah. So it was the message. Thing. It was the one message. of those moments where it, it, it was a like, lot of chaos, football. a lot of noise, yeah, exactly. a lot going on. And he was basically like, can I talk to you? Mm -hmm. And he said, I got all these things going on. And it seems like this, this football, this game, this woman that I'm in love with, she seems like she's getting further and further out of mm -hmm. my reach. Mm -hmm. And you know what? You could see the talent, you could see the athleticism, you could see his build, but I also saw the pain in his eyes. And from there, we just started rapping, and some of those words kind of stuck with you. Absolutely. So um, you probably don't remember this, but um, you know, you definitely encouraged me a lot to to get back into the game. And whatever it was, you're like, by any means, you know, make sure you get back into the game. And um, before the night was over, you came and uh, gave me a hundred dollar bill. I don't know if you remember, and you said I was going to make it to the league, and you gave me a hundred dollar bill, and you told me that, hey, here's a uh, Here's a little advance on your signing bonus. So, wow, um, man. I never forgot, man. I wow, Nate, that's incredible. Well, listen, uh, I appreciate you paying me back. Yeah. Um, but you're a rookie. You're going to need this money. I know, that's true. <laughs> um, These taxes is no joke. But, uh, you know, I, I meant that. And yeah. I, I, I felt that you were in love with the game. Oftentimes I talk to people, and it doesn't even have to do with football. But they act like they're in love with something, but they're not willing to go chase it and give up everything for it. And in that moment, I realized you were. And, the small words that I shared, I'm glad that they got you here. And you're a third-round draft pick. Mm. This is for real now. Absolutely. You're not some charity case. Nope. And I'm proud of you, man. Appreciate I'm it. Proud man. of you. Appreciate That's this it. happened at a club. This doesn't yeah. happen at a club. I couldn't even hear what anybody's saying, and those are screaming in my ear. It's and incredible. here you are, exchanging like motivational. It's unbelievable. It's, it's a man. classic Nate story. You you care about people. You take care of people, and you have incredible words. How much champagne did you have when you gave that hundred bucks? <laughs> I mean, come on, 100 bucks, Nate, you get him, how much were you into the Chris or whatever you were doing? Yeah, Tell us more about Nate that night. Like, Did you say we, into the Chris? Yeah, into the Chris, <laughs> popping bottles, whatever the hell they say. Um, <laughs> tell us now about Nate that night, because it's an incredible launching point for you. Tell us the other, what's he wearing, who's he with, who's he hollering at, what, what's going on? Okay, so I will tell you what I remember. Okay, um, back then... <laughs> I had dreads. Yeah. And you I'm, had oh, really? you had little twists or dreads had, going I had on dreads. too. I love this already. And it was uh was it orange or was it it was a like blonde? 
Because it, it, like, it was like a, a brownish, like a brownish a brown. Brown is brown, is brown. Yeah, okay. My, my dress. Okay. Oh, I don't exactly remember what else you were wearing. You did have a ball cap, and I think you took it off and mm. had it on your belt here. Yeah, you was focused. Okay. Yeah. So that <laughs> shirt might have came off at some point. Right. That's when I was in shape. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he chucked you out the bar, too, right? No, no, no. no, no. He escorted us out the bar. He was escorting people out of the way. Yeah. I love it. He was like, I got you guys. You guys are good. All night long. Now, um, the draft. Comes on. Oh, sorry. One more thing. Oh, yeah, come on. Add before I forget, okay? Mm -hmm. So you got a call. You got a call, and you left. You went outside. I'm like, where's Nate? Where's Nate? Where's Nate? I go out. I find you talking to your wife. Yeah. You know? Yeah, she had given you a call. You talk, And then after you got off the phone, you're like, hey, man, it's all good to have fun in here. You're with your boys and everything like that, but you're like family first. So wife mm -hmm. call, I got to an answer. Yeah, take care of home first, Exactly. Man. Happy so wife, just, happy life. Exactly, man. Um, and that's funny, man. You that's gonna take you a long way in this yeah. league. Yeah, Pay attention to the details. Yeah, right. And the league is all about the details. And one of those details over the last uh, month or so is that Friday night where you get a phone call and it's the New York Jets and they're telling you that you're gonna be selected in the third round. After everything you've been through, the ups and downs, the tears, the quiet times by yourself looking in the mirror thinking, Can I even do this anymore? What did that call feel like? Oh man, it was uh felt like back pay. Mm. So it was just, you know, you're betting on yourself for years in, years out, and you don't know what's going to come of it. But it was just one thing it taught me is that, you know, you never know what's going to happen. So it's better to be prepared and hope for an opportunity than mm. have an opportunity and not be prepared. Mm. So that's what I'm taking, you know, going into my career. You had rookie mini camp and OTAs, of course. Uh, what do you think of coach? Coach, man, he's 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 real. He's a real one. <laughs> he's a I know he doesn't. We don't know much about him. What do you mean by real one? Hey, he's a he's a real one. So I would say he's he's, he's never gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. um, I think that sometimes in this business, you know, there's things can get kind of gray. Yeah. And, you know, with coach, he's always gonna give it to you black and white. So that's one thing I appreciate about appreciate about him. Well, listen, I appreciate you coming through, I man. I'm looking forward to watching you, and we're right here. Yeah. Just like I told you in the commercial break, you got family here in New York. So appreciate you want a home cooked yeah. meal? Come by the crib, come kick it with your boy. And you got some big fans here today, man. I'm proud Absolutely. of you, man. Appreciate it. Keep balling, all right? Yeah. It's 99 Cent Kids Nights at Golden Corral. Every night, kids eat and drink for just 99 cents under a buck. Woo! It's prime time for family time every night. Come on now. Golden Corral, your choice rules. How do you win it, business? Stay at La Quinta, where we're changing with contemporary makeovers. Then use the ultimate power handshake, the upper hander with a double palm grab. Who has the upper hand now? Start winning today. Book now at LQ.com. Still nervous about buying a house? A little. Thought I could de-stress with some zen gardening. At least we don't have to worry about homeowner's insurance. Just call Geico. Geico helps with homeowner's insurance? Good to know. Been doing it for years. That's really good to know. I should clean this up. I'll get the dustpan. Behind the golf clubs? Get to know Geico and see how easy homeowners and renters insurance can be.